Welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen. Egypt received its first Mistral class landing helicopter dock, LHD warship, from France on Thursday. Defense Minister General Sutqi Sobhi, who is accompanied by a military delegation, attended on Thursday a celebration with his French counterpart to mark the delivery of the Mistral. The Egyptian Navy commander, Osama Ravid, said during the ceremony that he was honored to receive the first Mistral ever to serve in Egypt and the Middle East. He added that advanced military equipment, such as the Mistral, are key to defend Egypt given challenges currently facing the region. And the details are in the following reports. Defense Minister Sidqui Soupi and his French counterpart, John Yves Le Drian, attended. On Thursday, the inauguration of the Mistral and the Egyptian flag was raised and they sailed from France to Toulouse to Egypt. Earlier this month, 170 Egyptian crewmen sailed in a week-long training operation to familiarize themselves with the ship. The LHD warship is said to be named after late Egyptian President Gamal Abdel Nasser, another Mistral helicopter carrier named after the late Egyptian President Anwar Sadat will be delivered in September. The contract for the two Mistral carriers, which was finalized in September last year, was valued at 950 million euros. France now tops the list of countries to have signed military supply deals with Egypt after an arrangement that witnessed the signing of a series of bilateral military cooperation deals. Last year, Egypt successfully concluded contracts for 24 Rafale fighter planes, of which seven have been delivered. The first batch of four, which arrived in August 2015, took part in the celebrations for the inauguration of the new Suez Canal. Three more arrived in January this year. It is noteworthy that the contract for 24 Rafales is the first time France has ever sold a fighter plane to another country. Earlier in May, Cairo finalized the purchase of a military reconnaissance and monitoring satellite. A senior military said that the satellite Egypt has purchased is very sophisticated. It is in fact the most modern of the industrial technologies that Egypt now possesses. He noted that while the satellite has been classed as military, it is capable of performing both military and non-military tasks. President of Fatah Sisi has said that increasing the military capability of the Egyptian military means that it can strike a strategic balance in the Middle East and North Africa. Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Urban continues his visit to Cairo for the second day. Urban is to visit Al Azhar, St. Mark's Coptic Cathedral, and the Hanging Church. Earlier on Wednesday, the Hungarian Prime Minister met with President Al Fatah el Sisi for talks that covered means of boosting bilateral relations and a number of international issues of mutual concern. After the talks, the President and the Hungarian visiting Premier met witnessed the signing of a number of cooperation agreements in the fields of military cooperation transportation, aviation services, and media production. Urban is heading a high-ranking official delegation and representatives from major companies. Also during his visit, the Hungarian Prime Minister attended the inauguration of meetings of the Egyptian-Hungarian Business Forum. Grand Imam of Al Azhar Sheikh Ahmed Al Tayyib held an international press conference on Thursday. Al Tayyib said that equality, uh, equality and modernization are essential principles to deal with any challenges. He also stressed that Al Azhar remains the main and strongest voice against extremism. The Grand Imam said that Al Azhar's main strategy to the upcoming period is to convey the message of Islam all over the world. He noted that Al Azhar received many requests for missions to be sent to different countries to spread moderate culture of Islam. Rafah border crossing remains open on Thursday, the second day to allow the movement of patients, students and humanitarian cases between Egypt and Gaza Strip. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi has approved the decree to open the border crossing on Wednesday and Thursday, as well as on the 4th and 5th of June, to ease the sufferings of the Palestinian people ahead of the holy month of Ramadan. 
The surge zone for the crashed Egypt air jet has been narrowed to 2 kilometers from 5 kilometers after a vessel picked up a signal from one of the black boxes. A search teams zeroed in on the flight recorder. France's transport minister said it would be about eight days before the black box of flight MS-804 would be recovered from the seabed. Locating the black boxes is crucial to understanding why the Airbus A320 plummeted into the Mediterranean en route from Paris to Cairo on May the 19th, killing all 66 people on board. The Egyptian Radio and Television Union launches on Thursday a new channel called Mespiro Zemin. The channel is to broadcast the old production in black and white, including soccer games and songs and drama.